Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thank you so much for the continued support by subscribing to this channel right here and going over to martymusic.com. Really appreciate that, you guys. Thank you so much. And as part of Marty Music, every Thursday is a gear video. So today's gear video, we're going to be talking about my Heritage 535 semi-hollow electric guitar. Now, the company's called Heritage, and the story, not everyone knows the story, but Heritage Guitars came out from the original Gibson Guitar Factory, which was in Kalamazoo, Michigan. So the original Gibson Factory was in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and basically they outgrew uh, the space and what they could do there. And in the early 80s, Gibson decided to move to Nashville, Tennessee. Now, in Kalamazoo, some of the people that were working there didn't want to uproot their families or for whatever reason, there were some people that didn't want to move to Nashville. And they were really into what they were doing there. So they kept the factory going and started Heritage Guitars, which I believe the word heritage implies that they're carrying on the legacy of that Gibson guitar factory. And the specs of the guitars, in some ways, uh, are still staying true to those original Gibsons that were made so long ago. In fact, I believe that they even have the same guy that's doing the stains and the paint that's maybe almost 100 years old that was still, at least up to a few years ago, still paint, you know, still doing the stains and the bursts on the Heritage guitars there, which, you know, he was doing that uh, on the, you know, those 59s and all those crazy guitars that are so valuable now. So this is uh, based on the Gibson ES-335. So it's a semi-hollow body guitar, meaning it's got these two F-holes with chambers inside, but then a solid piece of wood through the middle. And so what you get is you get a little more warmth, a little more sustain because of the chambers here, but you don't get too much feedback because it's, it's hard. Uh, you know, there's a hard piece of wood right here in the center. So, you know, if you plug in a full hollow body and start using distortion, you're gonna get nasty feedback, like the not good kind, whereas this is gonna help tame that feedback. So you get some really nice, uh, nice sustain with the semi-hollow vibe. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play it, I'll switch the uh, pickups around, play it clean, then I'll add some distortion. You can hear the versatility of the guitar. And Heritage guitars are becoming more and more valuable. I used to think of them as a little bit cheaper than a Gibson, as far as new to new. A little bit cheaper than a Gibson, but a little better quality, which is kind of crazy sounding, but really I, I, my own opinion is that, that that is true. But with that supply and demand and the fact that Heritage doesn't make as many guitars, they're becoming more valuable. I highly recommend if you see one, at a decent price and feels good. I think it's a great purchase. I've had this guitar and I've probably played it more hours in gigs and lessons than I have with any other guitar that I own. So it's just a great, it's a great beauty, tobacco sunburst and the Grover tuners, nice comfortable neck, not a big fat baseball neck. Uh, I like a little bit more of a tapered neck and it's got that. It's got the short scale like a Gibson, real nice and easy to bend. So anyway, let's uh, let's start playing it. Thank you. 
there was a nice little demo on my Heritage 535 made at the original Gibson factory in Kalamazoo. Thanks for hanging out. Remember, every Thursday is a new gear video at Marty Music. So if there's a guitar you'd like to see me cover, uh, even if it's one I don't own, or pedals, effects, anything at all that's related to uh, this kind of guitar world that we love, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Obviously, I appreciate you liking the video too. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thanks again for the continued support right here at Marty Music. New videos almost every day. So thanks again, and I can't wait to see you in another one of those videos real soon. See you later.